Vic, you guys have been uh, – both of you guys have been working hard these last couple <laughs> games. You guys have both played – ton of minutes in both games I think Derek had 39 against Indiana like 35 tonight um and you scored most of the points too at the same time how do you how do you guys get more people involved in the offense down the stretch here um I think that you know offensively with, with our cuts and our pace I think everyone is you know pretty much involved in the offense you know I don't think we're, we're purposely scheming to get me or Derek you know shots or you know, trying to isolate one, either one of us. But I think that throughout the flow of the game, I think, you know, the ball finds us. And if we're open, we need to take our shots. We need to be aggressive. Uh, so, I mean, I think our, our guys are playing well. I mean, I think they're passing the ball well. We're playing hard. We just got to close games down, down the stretch. I don't think it's our offense that's messing up, you know, late in games. I think we just have to lock in and be really sharp. You know, credit to Michigan. They uh, they played well. I mean, they had to – the 4-2 to withstand that run we had in the second half, and they hit us with a run of their own. So, I mean, they're a good team. Derek, you had uh, 20 points in the last two games. Do you think you're starting to find your rhythm offensively? Uh, yeah, I'm just starting to get more comfortable in offense. Uh, it's a new offense for us. Uh, the ball's starting to find my way more. Uh, I'm getting my shots up. I'm making the shots I'm making practice. So, just staying with it pretty much, you know, I, f I feel like I'm in a rhythm now. I mean, if you say so, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm not really sure my stats, but uh, I play. I play well. We all play well. Uh, I mean, it's good hard fall game. Wish the results were different. Uh, you guys have now lost uh, two tight Big Ten matchups, both by two points. What do you guys think is the special ingredient? Whatever you guys need to do to get over the hump going forward in conference play. Uh, yeah, just uh, similar to what I just said about Michigan and how they have that leadership and that tenacity to keep withstanding the runs and come back with runs of their own and, and just know that they've been there before. I think with this new group, you know, it, it's, it's hard to start a season and come really late in the games like this and be in tough games and just everyone innately knows you've been in this situation before, you know what to do. I mean, but now moving forward that we've been in these close games, hopefully, you know, our mindset starts to, you know, work a little better and change. But I just know that, you know, when, when we went on that run, Xavier Simpson was calling all his guys back, huddling them up, making sure they were ready to go and know exactly what to do. And they just, I mean, they just seemed like they were they were ready for whatever. And I think, you know, as we move forward, it's, it's a very apparent that we can hang with whoever we play with. I mean, Michigan is the number five team in the country, and they are worthy of the number five team in the country. But, I mean, you better put some respect on Northwestern because so, we're hanging with everybody. Oh, uh, it was supposed to be a uh, a loop cut over the top with me, and then to a like a, a crack back flare screen for Ryan Taylor coming back to the right side. They did a pretty good job and switched it, and uh, we tried to set a flat ball screen, but I mean, Michigan was pretty locked in. What do you think of the atmosphere tonight, first Big Ten game, the new new building? Uh, it was a great atmosphere. That's a uh, Big shout out to our student section, just the whole uh, West Ryan Arena. They came out, supported us through everything. Uh, it's just good to be back home. Just that atmosphere that you know we felt two years ago is just uh, a great feeling to have. Yeah, I thought it was fantastic. I thought the students and the fans really came out and waved tonight. And uh, I don't know, I just felt such a good electricity in the gym when we made that run. It was fantastic. Derek, what happened on the play where you got injured in the second half, and uh, did you feel like it affected your game uh, when you came back in? Uh, I just rolled my ankle. Uh, I mean, it happens. I came back in, and uh, I just finished the game out. Um, I forgot what I was going to ask you. Off right, th right there, like, how are you feeling right now? What's your status, if you had to describe it? I'm good. Good. Just rolled ankle. I'm fine. Derek, we talked about it. How you talked about how offensively you've gotten going, but you and Vic have really been the linchpins on defense as well. Um, have you guys found yourself getting a little bit more tired down the stretch in these types of games when you're having to put in so much work offensively and defensively? Uh, not necessarily. I mean, that's what we're called on to do, and that's what we have to do. So it's pretty much no excuse for us to say that we're tired. Uh, I mean, we just you know go out there and lean on our teammates. Our teammates lean on us, and we just have to you know be better as a group. 
specifically, obviously, you had the procedure in the off season. These last two games, you've really played pretty much the whole way down the stretch. Have you have you felt the difference? Has it been noticeable? I mean, yeah, I feel I feel great. I just think uh, I mean I feel good. Nothing nothing's holding me back. I feel I feel very good about we know where I'm at. I think uh, it's more of a, a mindset, really. If I'm going to be able to take the shots I take and come here and answer these questions, I better be able to play 40 minutes and play offense, defense, and whatever else is asked. Sorry that Pryor already asked you, but just that last possession, um, you feel like you guys got a decent shot or you wanted something more? Uh, we probably could have got a better shot. I mean, uh, it, was, it was a contested shot from almost half court, so we could have got a better one. But like I said, we're still learning and moving forward. And I'm sure that whenever we get a situation like this or whatever situation we're in late in the game again, we'll be prepared.